I really wanted to get a sense of what message do you give to your teens because they are the ones who deal with potential borrowers who bring bankable projects you know so what message do you give to your teens when it comes to funding uh, for sustainable consumption production so essentially you know we are dealing with a few conundrums we need to you know, do the balance with this recent flooding where you know 33 million people are on the road 2 million houses are gone away um, you know the realization is there and yes Paracha sahab said, you know, uh, this is the right time. We need to build on this one and take it on. It's a, it's a change in habit. It's a change in the society's attitude. It's the mindset change which is required. And we need to now, you know, balance these various conundrums and challenges. Uh, for example, three constituencies that I could think of is the, uh, so Larry sahab talked about, you know, food ke baare mein. The same goes for energy. Energy also has the availability as well as the affordability factor. The affordability is no longer a concern, it's the availability which is the concern. So therefore we need to make sure that you know as individuals we are uh, uh, making sure that the projects that we are doing as, as even in our daily lives we make sure that we won't waste water, we, we make sure that we will save energy because there is an availability issue. It's no longer an affordability factor, it's the availability factor. The second conundrum that we are dealing with is, is, is that, you know, country like ours, uh, the green uh, uh, economy is no longer a luxury. And you know, you quoted Scandinavian countries, for them it may still be a luxury because they can afford to do this. In our case, it's a necessity. So we as an individual must realize that it's a necessity. And as, uh, as uh, you know, uh, 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 as a responsible citizen, whether that's corporate or individuals, we need to make sure that we treat it as a necessity. Then, uh, you know, there is a, there is a, uh, you know, there is a trade-off between short-term and long-term. Uh, as uh, Jagir was saying that, you know, on the, uh, to forego your short-term benefits for your long-term benefits. Uh, so even if you have to compromise on your IRRs initially, let us now look at you know long-term benefits and sustainability of the economy. And the similar is the responsibility on us as well, making sure that if the project comes through which is more environmentally friendly, uh, and we are not making as much money as we are supposed to make. Um, although, thanks to Bajwa Sahib and the government, sorry Bajwa Sahib, you have put our eyes on the government borrowing. After that, we have become very rusty, to be honest with you. So, as banks also, we need to be much more responsible that while we are making a lot of money through the government borrowing and all, but there is a certain other responsibility. The government borrowing, inshallah, will disappear one way or the other. Meri lifetime will not go, the next lifetime will end. But the sustainability piece will always be there. So therefore, as a responsible citizen, we must do this. Okay, you have done a lot of marketing. Pepsi has done it, so I will do a little marketing. I am also like a corporate sponsor, by the way. Not this, but another session. So, I will share with you that, you know, there is a, on the low-cost housing piece, we are very proud and yesterday only we had a press conference on this one. Shai Jahangir, Ki Meza Sikudriyo, with the Heritage Foundation, Yasmin Dari Sahib Ali. And there, you know, we are, the thing that we liked about that whole thing was that, you know, she's building these houses which are all climate friendly. In fact, these are cottages which withstood the floods recently in Jubajo Sama behind in Sin. They will store those. And not just this, the livelihood that is also revolving around women. Uh, so from a sustainability and responsibility standpoint, our women's participation into the overall scheme of things and businesses, that's also very critical for creating more in awareness about the SDG 12 piece. 
you you can't keep women out of this and then assume that you know you will have a very robust sustainability model not happening and especially in the uncertain times thank you thank you zafar really appreciate it